Hello everyone, I've got a new project I'm going to start today. I'm going to try to hatch me some killifish. Uh, hopefully when they grow up, that's what they're going to look like. I've um, already tried it the other week uh, with a set I've got Christmas, but unfortunately none of them survived after a week. So, round two. Uh, I'm going to try to keep a video diary of it and show you what I do. Hopefully we'll see some fish growing soon. So, I've got all the stuff set up, got my eggs. Tub to put them in. Uh, I've got my water already. Got the thermometer in there to make sure it's the right temperature. Got it at about 27 28 degrees. Um, and I've got some tap safe to so take all the chlorine and crap out of the water. Um, make it safe for the little fried hatch out. Uh, once they get grown, I've got this little tiny tub of. Uh, Liquid fry number one from Interpet. Uh, it's only a few quid at the shop. Um, I'll put them on that for the first few days, maybe up to a week, and then after that, I've got this little packet of brine shrimp eggs or sea monkeys. Comes with a little pack of salt and buffer mix, just purify the water and make it nice and salty for them. Now uh, I've already made the ready sea monkeys. have all hatched out. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but for now. I'll show you how to get the killifish going. So first of all we need to put a couple of drops of this in the water. It says I need 5 mil for 45 litres of water. And I'm probably only going to need half a litre so I'm just going to put just a couple of drops. I think just two drops will probably be okay. I'm going to say 5 mil for 45 litres. So. I'm sure a couple of drops will be fine for that. A little stir with a the thermometer. So yeah, it's about, let's see, 27, 28 degrees nearly. Um, hopefully I'll put the thermometer inside the tub and monitor that, make sure it doesn't go too hot and cold. I don't think I need a lot of water to start with. I'll just get them going. Once they hatch out, I use my little pipette to suck the fry up out of that, put them in a bigger tub. And I'll show you in a little while how I'm going to keep them warm. Obviously, I can't stick a heater inside this little thing. All I do is literally just plonk it straight in the water. Tap the packet out, good and proper. Make sure there's no little legs stuck in there. Okay. I'm pretty sure we've got them all. Should be 30 eggs. I don't want to waste any. Because every egg could potentially be another little fishy. So that's basically all we do for that. You can see they're in like a little dirt mix, it just cells to the bottom. Um, hopefully after about 24 hours, might have some fish. I've seen another video someone else has done where they've had them within a few hours. Um, if you're going to try it, I suggest getting a magnifying glass. They're very tiny. Um, I'm also going to do another video in a minute on how to get your brine shrimp ready because you're going to want to do that pretty soon because you're going to need to feed them while the brine shrimp are really tiny because once they start growing the little killifish won't be able to eat them. Um, okay so there's a the tub of the brine shrimp I've already done. Um, I did have it just in this plastic bowl with me little air pump attached to it. But again, I'll show you that in the next video. Um, right, I'll now go put them with my other fish tank. And I'll show you how I'm going to keep them warm. Yes, yeah, so this is where I'm going to keep my little killifish. Not inside the tank. That little sun in there. And up here. On the glass shelf at the top. 
So I put them last time. The light underneath there keeps the water nice and warm. I've got the thermometer in there, so I'll see if it gets too hot or too cold. A little bit of white paper underneath there. And I'll just make it easier to spot them. Because they are so tiny, it's very, very hard to find the little buggers. Um, hopefully, maybe in a day or two, they might hatch out. If not, give it a few more days after that. Um, that was the first set I had. Nice little Christmas present that was. And so sadly, no, none of them survived. So, round two. We'll see how it goes.